Welcome to Raven Creek Guitar Heroes, a new Project Zomboid series, mini series really. It's going to be relatively short. I'm hoping to condense them down into a single episode. And I thought we'd go over the rules and mods and things like that. So the idea is my guitar heroes each start in the same place in Raven Creek and they have to spend two nights in separated buildings in downtown Raven Creek. They're not like you're not allowed to go off the map or anything like that. And by separated I really mean it can't be a building next door, right? And then after that, if they survive that and it's a big if, then they have to make it to my favourite motel at the entrance to Raven Creek and just get into there on the what would be the third day and be safe there and that's the challenge complete now so let's go in and have a look at what we're doing so we're going to do a custom sandbox so here's my mods for this so let's go through the mods craft helper we know about Knox county map i've just kept them on i mean it doesn't really matter the cheat menu is on and that's because i will need to use that to start the challenge Fashion montage, begin with any outfit, fluffy hair, and more traits. These are integral to the challenge as well. So fashion montage does what it says on the tin, right? It lets me choose my starting outfit. Fluffy hair is a little mod which, when you put a hat on, normally the hair kind of disappears or it changes to a ponytail if it's long hair. That was no good for my first guitar hero slash that was no use at all so i'm glad i found that mod or i probably wouldn't have been able to run slash you know or i'd have to run him without his hat more traits this is interesting i wanted to try to do i try as much as possible it's a bit limited to give our guitar heroes relevant traits if you like so that's what that's for, to give me more choice. Not always really possible to do a good job of that, but we'll have some fun with it anyway. Obviously we've got Raven Creek, uh, vanilla food fixes, organizer mods, better sorting. Uh, I've got trailers on here, which isn't going to be relevant here. Mod option. Oh, Rock Shop is the other one that is relevant. Um, It, it gives you band t-shirts, so that's pretty cool. Quite a few of them are relevant to this challenge as well. And yeah, and Zara's common library is just, it goes with the trailers and better towing. Now, I'm going to start in Raven Creek. Sorry, in Rosewood, not in Raven Creek. There's a reason for that. And we'll just leave that as it is. What about options? Well, we're going to do multi-hit. So what does this mean? Well, it just means that we're starting with one and a half times the normal population and it's going to remain at that so no more zombies no extra zombies are going to spawn in it doesn't really make much difference to that part because we're only going to be in it for two days but that's the settings anyway now i can't go through all of these new traits that have been added to the game but we've got things like these single point which give you opening items relevant to the category but things like blissful generator knowledge flexible swift's new quiet's new i think scrapper antique collector we've got a few here bouncer okay so we've got quite a number of new traits all our heroes are going to start as veterans because they're, you know, veterans of the stage and they're desensitized. They're all going to start as veterans. It means if we pick up a gun, we could maybe have a little bit of fun. You know, we can actually hit something if we get a gun. It means they're all going to have eight points deficit to actually overcome to begin with. So let's have a look at our first victim. And it's Slash. So... Slash has a hearty appetite and he's self-destructive appetite for destruction, get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's obviously a smoker and he's also clumsy. Now the clumsy bit is because Slash uses 
13 gauge strings on his guitar which is super heavy and I saw in an interview that he, he uses such heavy strings because he says he's, he's clumsy I don't believe he's clumsy but that was what he said anyway so we put that on and I gave him stout because I didn't that's all I could spend on him I only had the six points to spend with all that which is fine and so there's Slash now that's the best I can do with him which is not bad I mean he's got his appetite for destruction t-shirt on there's no top hat in the game and that's about the best I can do with his hair, which is not too bad. It would be a bit kind of bushier in real life. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. He'll probably not have his hat and glasses for that long. They tend to get knocked off. Now, yeah, there was a mod that allowed me to put a top hat on, but it was conflicting. So the reason I'm spawning in Rosewood is I'm going to bring up the cheap menu, give them a guitar, which they have to use until it breaks. That's their first weapon and they must use it until it breaks. And then I'm going to teleport them to the starting position. So that's the reason for spawning in, in Rosewood. It's just easier in Rosewood because I'll end up inside. Because if I spawn in Raven Creek, I could be out in the middle of nowhere with zombies bearing down on me. It's just easier to spawn in Rosewood. That way I'm in a building with not, nobody around me and I can access the cheap menu and do all that, get them teleported, and then that's it. They've got to cross the bridge into Raven Creek and and try to survive. I came up with another rule, actually, after I did the Slash run. Now, Slash didn't really break these rules, even though I didn't have them in place. So I'm not allowed to enter a building and sleep in that building until after 6 o'clock. That's just so I don't cheese it by you know sneaking into a building and, and spending the whole day in there hiding away in a room that's not the idea of the challenge the idea of the challenge is to is to be fun it's supposed to this is supposed to be a fun challenge i'm expecting these guys to not last long right that's why it's a short form challenge so that's it so if i go into a building before six o'clock i have i cannot sleep there i have to leave that building and find a new one Okay, and I can't go back to the same building that I've been in. If I've been in that building before six o'clock, then it's out of bounds for sleeping in. I must go to a new building. I can't leave it and come back in is what I'm saying. So without further ado, let's get on with Slash's run. We're going to crouch. We're going to attach that guitar on his back. I know the belt is okay, isn't it? Yeah. And let's see if we've got a gun in here for us. We don't have any guns. Now, Slash has to use his guitar till it breaks. That's part of the challenge rules. And we have to spend two nights in Raven Creek. That's it. It's as simple as that. But we're on a 1.5 multiplication population which is midway between high zombie population and see this is super slow to swing but I want to check these boxes because we are not going to have a lot of chance of loot desert army boots let's just take care of these guys He's already got good boots on. I think I think Slash doesn't change his clothing. You know? He doesn't change his clothing. I just don't think he would do that. I hear you. Now, we can't muck around, really. We need to get across this bridge. Antidepressants. Actually, that might be really, really nice. Concrete mix, not so... We've 
got a watch. I started him with a watch. And he's also got his black leather gloves. You know, he's kitted out like a, like you would expect. I'm actually quite chuffed with Slash. You Notice his Appetite for Destruction t-shirt. Yeah, that was a mod, which is pretty cool. And I'm so glad it wasn't the mod that was conflicting because, yeah, there was a mod that was doing something weird and most of the zombies on the map were, you know, in their undies. Ah, nails, we might take those nails because barricading, we might, we'll take that propane torch. Yeah, I'm taking a bit of time here because if we can get some useful stuff from these crates, that'll be pretty nice. A lighter's good. Is there anything in there? There's a tent. That we might grab. I think a zombie went through here. Or did he come back round? No. He is there. Come on, maybe a hammer or something would be quite nice. Another lighter. I don't think we need another lighter. No. Snow shovel. I think we have to take that in case we don't get another weapon. Now, let's take that tent because some place to sleep in an emergency might be really quite important. Okay. So I am looking to get a an army backpack from down here. If we find one and we can snag it. No. Now these bridges are a little dodgy. There's an army backpack, but... Okay, yeah, see, we can't really see... Don't get bitten. Yeah, okay. Maybe we don't bother with that. I was trying not to run, but... It's possibly easier said than done. Yeah, I tried this on up a notch and high population, which is a twice the normal population, and it didn't go well at all. The place was just far too busy. And I, you know, wasn't making it even to one day. I think we just stay on this side and then at the end we juke like that and get past. So we may not be able to get a military backpack. Hopefully this pillar will disappear. No, it isn't, so let's just run through. Yeah, it's a shame, but it doesn't look like we're going to get ourselves a backpack. It's just too, just too busy. Wow. I have to hope there's nobody on the other side of there. Let's just get round here. Stand up and walk. I'm going the wrong way, but this is quiet up here. I say it's quiet up here, but... Yeah, we're hungry already. Come on. 
That was a swing and a miss. Cigarettes. That's a bit too many to take on. So we've got cigarettes and a lighter. It's normally quiet on the coast. What is going on? Yeah, I think it's just that extra population. The zombies are, are spread out more. Because of the, the way the game works, the spacing. Yeah, we're getting thirsty and we're hungry. Okay, so I think we just have to go through here. Come out on the corner and see what's going on. Yeah, okay, is he saw me or is he just milling around? thing is here, I can't keep running forever. I've got to really make a stand. Okay, you're still banging on the app. Okay, so 45, to take it all. Well, we are a veteran now, we just have to try to get in here. Yeah. They're up there. Let's go in here. Let's smash this one. I just have to take the risk. Come on. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't get in there. Look at it. This is a bar. Okay, I think we have to try to get in here. Come on. Well, he's lost his heart already, has he? How many have we got? Just a couple, okay. Started. That's not good. Oh, I think Slash is bit in the dust. He's a laceration, but he's got no got nothing to, to heal it with at the moment. I can't go this way though because yeah they're all in here aren't they? Stand. I need um, to rip my t-shirt or I'm gonna just slowly die here. Maybe we can get off of this zombie.
Did I not manage to rip that? The little things like just locked doors like that that are going to make all the difference as to whether this run is a disaster or not. bandage on let's take an antidepressant because we don't want him to lose health windows around the back maybe we can get into doesn't look like it it's pretty desperate already to be perfectly honest I think this place is absolutely hoaching Okay, we're not getting in anywhere there. tried that yeah there's twiggies that we tried to get into as well
No. This is not good. No, not the bathroom. No. No, not no window. I think Slash has played his last tune. Can we get in some place? Okay, we've got nothing we can actually do because we need to stitch this. Yeah, we need to stitch this. So unless we can find something to stitch it with, we're knackered. And there's not even a... Well, we need to eat if we can. We've got cigarettes, so you can have a cigarette. Maybe that's what's killing him. He's not had a smoke. Okay, we're going up. I had to jump out that window. I wasn't going to survive without any other way. I was lucky I didn't break my leg actually. Okay. Well, he has to take that guitar, right? It's so heavy though. No, he's not going to take another guitar. He's seen his He's seen his last guitar, Slash. So we're going to start losing health soon because we're becoming so unhappy. Now we've gone to very tired, so can we sleep? No. No. Now we've got to get out of here.
Come on, I need some food. Give me some food, please. Some mares would be really, really nice. Ah, oh, don't! He just healed himself. Doing me much good, is it? No, I can't believe there's no way out of here. Where's his snow shovel? I need to go and change that bandage. I can't fill anything, can I? No. We need to get out of here. Food. Empty mug will do as a container. Canned carrots. Is there a window through here? No, there's no windows out into any of this, is there? That's going to do our happiness a lot of good, so that's really, really nice. And our healing, fresh cooked chicken. Nice. Empty bowl, we need that to fill with water. Let's just fill all. Now we need to get out of here and go someplace else. Do we go up? I think we actually just need to get out of here now. 
we're limping a little, but we're alive and we're moving okay, you know? We need a better weapon. How's the diner looking? Nice. Extremely bored. Meds. Beta blockers we don't need. Painkillers. Let's pour that on the ground and we'll use that as a water container. It's a bit better than any other water container we've got. Ice cream if we can not a better weapon would be good burger yeah they're nice I think we're good now for food let's eat one of those burgers for healing and happiness let's clean all these bandages before we go and then we have to just get out Or we're going to get so unhappy that it's going to kill poor old Slash. Yeah, you're there. Hugo Plush. We've still got um, antidepressants, so let's keep taking them. I mean, we basically haven't left the bridge here. Yeah, this is the bridge. Brutal. So we can't really run here. Oh, we're moving okay. We're moving okay. Ish. Smoke. Where's your sig slash? Yeah, you felt better after that. Okay, we should be losing our boredom now. I thought he was zombified, I must admit. I really did, when the queasiness came up. Minor pain. Let's just, um... Eat that burger. I don't want to go through all our food, but I want to keep our healing up. I think that's going to be quite important. It's 
So boredom is going down. We can grab a soda from out of here. Pop. Chips. Don't like the idea of going in there. hoping to hit up these machines as well but let's just go past here's a nice strong gate here wonder if this is open no I'm really just trying to keep eagle eyes out for anywhere I can potentially go. This looks quite promising. coming still. I can't do that. No, too many coming still. Quiet down here.
Oh, cool. We might need that as a weapon. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, there's loads of stuff in here. Loads and loads of stuff in here. Is there a place to sleep? Shovel's a decent weapon. Is that better than our... Well... Let's... Eat half that pie slice. Let's take a painkiller. And let's sort our bandages out. There's no point in taking any of that. A metal bar. That might be better for us to wield, but... Mm, Because the shovel's what? 1.5, it's not too bad actually. Golf club's pretty low neck. I think I prefer the shovel. A few nails could be quite handy. We've lost our pain though. A needle. We've got thread, right? I threw out my thread. We, I saw a thread up there. I saw a thread somewhere. Thread. Which one was it? I think it's our thigh, isn't it? Okay. Wow. Sure, I've missed stuff. Magazine would be quite nice. A book. I think we read that book. How's our water doing? No. Close the doors, please. I need to sneak in and get a seat. Let's go up the other side. Yeah, they're coming over. Maybe we can get in here. Grab a seat. Okay. Clean our rags. Okay, we need to sleep and then leave the city. And if we can manage that, then Slash has completed the challenge. Let's sleep. Oh, I don't like this at all. Right there. How many is that? Just the one. Why am I taking the house key? I don't know why I'm taking the house key. 
Let's bandage. Bandage up. Now we just have to get out of the city. Misty this morning. See if we can get a better weapon. I mean, we don't really need a weapon. An axe would be nice though, since he's yeah, you know, he is an axe man. Smoke slash. So this is probably stupid. He definitely is desensitized because he didn't panic there. I panicked way more than Slash did there. I don't know how I got out of that. That's incredibly interesting that I didn't get dragged down there. Considering, I mean, we've got the stout trait, but I thought we were just going to get dragged down instantly there. So it's quiet down this end. On the edge of Raven Creek. That's good to know. Quiet-ish. Keep going this way. No, maybe not. You know, I really dislike going down these blind alleys. I mean, I don't want that to happen again. I've actually been in that building. I spent the night in there. We are nearing the finishing line. We're not that far out away from getting out of the city. Oh crap. Okay, I can go over the fence. Come on, oh! Wow, Slash, you really have been through the wars, haven't you? But no bite. I can't believe I got hung up on a post box. My own fault, though. I mean, I know they're there, I know... I've been playing the game for long enough to know that you, you've got to give them a bit of leeway. Just panic. Oh, he's in pain again. Let's give him a pill and a peach. Keep his healing up. Now there's one of the new trailers in the mod that I've got for the trailers. 200 capacity in that one.
So I think the final mission is to get to my favourite motel that I sort of stay in at the entrance to Raven Creek and be up there and safe. I think running out of the city is a little lame. Visible trees. Okay, there's the military camp there. Oh, I'm just watching for zombies on this fence line. I'm going to go right in so I can see the fence line. Okay, let's clean our bandages. Well, change our bandages. I see that one coming. They're all going to be coming round, probably. Yeah, okay. I think our gun's going to come in really handy though for getting into the motel. A little pain. Way. Oh no! Bit in at the end because I <laughs> I got trapped. Oh slash! Oh slash! So close, but so far. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Slash. I'm sorry, Slash. You did well there. You're a survivor. Or you were until the last moment. Yeah, why did I try to go up through there? I didn't look at that barrier. I should have pushed right through her. Ah, you live and learn. So, I'm really liking the balance that I've got here of the population level. It's possible to get in and hide out for the night, but it's incredibly dangerous as well at every moment. You're never safe and it can all be over 
in an instant. Anyway, put your comments down below of any guitar heroes you'd like me to, to do a run with. And we'll try to make that happen to the best of my ability within what we've got to work with on the game. So thanks for watching and we shall see you next time.